What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be talking about the Anthony Davis and Kawhi Leonard packs in NBA 2K22, my team. Not going to lie, I'm not that excited about these, and from looking at these cards, I mean, we're going to get some pretty damn good cards. I do want to be very clear on that. Am I excited? Not really. Not really at all. So, anyway, lads, before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to hit 300,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Right now we are about two or we're about three and a half thousand away. Also, lads, I do apologize. My um, my internet is still really bad. I'm having someone come out tomorrow to look at it. I'm basically doing everything off. Um, I'm working off hotspot at the minute. My internet's barely working. Like it's barely, barely hanging on. But um, yeah. We're going to be going through these right now. So we're going to start off with the Kawhi Leonard's. So Kawhi Leonard. Uh, first one is 40 half buys on the anniversary. Okay. Okay, I see you 2K. I see you. So, um, yeah. He's still got his build. Oh, wow. It's the first time I've seen an anniversary and been like, yeah, this card's him. This card's really him. Oh, my God. The only issue is, is that when you pull these packs, 95% of the time you're getting power with, you're going to get power within Kawhi Leonard, who's not really him. Kawhi, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, they just made him power within Kawhi. They made him like a slightly better version of Power Within Kawhi. Oh no. That's not really what we wanted now, is it? A slightly better, a slightly upgraded Power Within Kawhi Leonard. Kind of like that is really not what we wanted here in, um, in my team in terms of his animations. He's fine. He's not him though. He's usable. He's not great. I mean, he comes with fundamental dribble stuff. But, um, yeah, a bit iffy. This Kawhi can't play shooting guard, despite the fact that the original version of this card could play shooting guard. That's disappointing. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 60 halves, 80 standing dunk. Every shooting badge in the game. Every defensive badge. There's nothing he's missing. Perfect tendos. He still gets the Kawhi animations. Ray Allen very quick. Quick triple stock. Kawhi. Um, Leonard. He's got the Curry slide though. So. Like we look at the first invincible Kawhi. If you look. He does. Instead of getting the pro escape. Even if you don't like Curry slide. It's better than the pro. So if you're going to play Kawhi at small forward, this one might be the one to get because he's going to be quite cheap. He's going to be cheap because he's a small forward power forward. Then we have shooting guard small forward Kawhi. He's probably 55 halves to see. Yeah. I want to see what the less halves are in. I'm guessing a lot of them are probably in playmaking. Versus 75th. Isn't a lot of these are going to be playmaking badges difference. So stats wise, identical. Like 55 stats, you will not notice. What are the badges? Green Machine Outside Under Rhythm Shooter. Tight Handles. Needle Threader. You will not notice the difference. You will not notice the difference between these two cards. They both have the Curry Escape as well. I mean, if this card somehow turns out to be cheaper than this card, go get this card. Like, this card could be really, really nice. I wish they had done, like, say, like a Season 7 random version where they were going to be 10k. The, only, the issue is with Kawhi Leonard, and this happens with a lot of players, it happened with Kevin Durant as well, is that both of these cards are going to be expensive because this card and the Power Within are the only ones that are going to be pulled. The only, these are the only cards anyone's going to pull, are these two right here. Every other card is going to be basically um, impossible to pull, which means that these guys are both likely going to be above 30k. I'll probably look at this into this Kawhi. And probably more so than this Kawhi, I'll probably look into this Kawhi purely because he's he's going to be cheaper. 
But, um, yeah, then we've got Shooting Guard, Point Guard, Invincible Kawhi. He could be interesting because, like, he comes the Curry slide, quick dribble style. He could actually be a really interesting point guard. Obviously, going to have 65 hops. Like, the one thing is, though, is, like, I don't know if I'd waste him a point guard. Like, they're the same... I mean, is the curry slide going to be worth a little more empty? I don't know. I don't like how his card art is still has this, he still has the Spurs color. Like, I don't get that either. Like, even with Kevin Durant, he had different colors. I don't understand why he's Clippers with Spurs colors in the background. But, um... I like this card. I do like this card. Don't love this card. Like... I don't know if there's any reason to ever buy him over, for example, this card right here. The Mystic one. Because, at the same time, like I do feel he's a waste of point guard. Because, unless you're using... I mean, he might be a god tier pure cone. But, the problem is that, again, do you want to waste your point guard if it's not a pure cone? He's still going to be insane, though. Every one of these Kawhis, by the way. Every Kawhi... This card's going to be useful. Every Kawhi other than him is going to be insanely good. Then we get Endgame. Okay, so he's not a point guard. Is he going to be John Smith? Set shot 25. Trey escape. d rose size up. Oh, no! They gave him base 3. He is the first non-point guard eligible endgame to get base 3. The first non-point guard eligible not named Will Chamberlain to not get set shot 25. So it's a glitchy upper though. Which is the same as Lamella Ball, isn't it? Yeah. He's, he's just Lamella Ball, isn't he? He's just a Lamella Ball clown. He's just a Lamella Ball clown. Free throw. They gave them a different free throw. So much variety in end games. So much variety in end game cards. Different free throw. One of them has the Kawhi, one of them has free throw 31. That's it. That's it. That's the only difference. Like, so much variety. Either way, I just don't like the end game concept. I'll just put it out there. At this stage, I don't like the end game concept. Okay. Anthony Davis. AD on very quick, quick triple style. Oh, he's basically the invincible. Kobe escape. Oh, man. This is the best. This is the best of the anniversary cards. This is the best anniversary card. He's not half bad. Like, if you like the Invincible Anthony Davis, if you're an Anthony Davis fan, this card's not half bad. Like, he's actually pretty damn good. You can use this card and have a lot of success. You can use this card and have so much success. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's a good card. Then we are on to Anthony Davis 75th. Power forward center as well. So all so these two are both power forward slash centers. 97 three ball, 96 speed, 96 acceleration. Okay, he's an invincible. Um The only issue is again is that Wait a minute. Hero AD exists. Let's say Hero AD is gonna come. Hero AD won't come in a pack that often. So I could see this Anthony Davis ending up being really cheap. Donovan Mitchell size up Curry escape. He's too heavy as of right now to do the Curry escape though. So if they don't adjust his weight, just a heads up. There's no um, there's no need. I give. His dunks are awful. What were his dunks on this one? 
They were awful as well. But um, if he can curry escape, that becomes very interesting. If not, if he can't do the curry slide, it's a waste of having the curry escape over the Kobe, which he previously had. But the Donovan Mitchell size up is very interesting on him. I'm not that opposed to this card. I'm not going to use him. He's not going to make my squad because he's a 6'10 power forward. But I also do like him. I do think this is a good card. Then we've got Anthony Davis. Point guard card. Small forward. Oh, Anthony Davis at small forward might be him. Yeah, maybe that's a position where Anthony Davis can be used in. 88 steel, 94 perimeter, 94 lateral. Okay. Every shooting badge, every defensive badge. Like 77 to 80. Perfect handles, low three point tendency. Donovan Mitchell still has the curry escape. He just needs to lose eight pounds. He needs to go on a bit of a water fast. He's going to, actually it's eight pounds. He's going a severe water fast. Maybe, maybe go on hunger strike for a few days just to lose those eight pounds or those nine pounds just to get him. You should fast, just fast. Just fast for a while. This isn't like Amari Stoudemire was one pound, you just have to hit the sauna. AD has to properly, he has to fast. But, um, yeah, he's he's perfect. He's he's actually, he actually could be good at small forward. He might be all right at point guard. I wouldn't waste him on point guard, but he's a really good small forward. And he's like a completely juiced up good Danny Ferry. And he can move. A little bit. He's actually a really good small forward. And this is the best Anthony Davis card so far. Power forward, center, invincible. This one's a hell of a lot better than this invincible. Means he can move. Mitchell's size of instead of normal is huge. However, I will say though, that if you're someone who like Ty abused the Kobe escape, maybe you prefer this one. But last up, endgame Anthony Davis. John Smith. Sesha 25, D Row size of Trey Escape. Sesha 25, D Row size of Trey Escape Trey Page. We are looking at the Mr. John Smith. We are looking at John Smith, except the difference is that he's not seven foot six like the other John Smiths. In my opinion, the worst perks of an endgame card. Stand by. The worst. Maybe you can argue Magic Johnson. Other than that, the worst perks of an endgame card right here. So overall, when it comes to these cards here, I would say. As far as Kawhi's go, I would look at this Kawhi as the best one. And as far as Anthony Davis's go, it would be the Swish 80. Um, the, obviously, if you can get the endgame Kawhi, go get the endgame Kawhi. However, I don't know how much better the endgame Kawhi is going to be than this Kawhi, because Kawhi's release was already insane. And if you're just looking for a cone, this Kawhi, like for some people, you're going to prefer this Kawhi or this Kawhi the two to this Kawhi. Um, but for me, I think the best Anthony Davis, including the endgame, is this. I think we actually could get to a stage where I think this Invincible might be the best Kawhi and this AD might be the best AD. I think the I don't think the end games at either of these positions are the best versions that are card. Maybe this end game. Just maybe this end game. But I'm I'm just saying Anthony Davis and Kawhi. Uh, and this Anthony Davis is the best Anthony Davis, including the end game. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.